We begin our classroom with the questionnaire, which was used brilliantly for 26 years by my great hero, Bernard Bivo. Uh, what is your favorite word, Kiefer? Latin, gravitas. What is your least favorite word? Nigger. What turns you on? Hope. What turns you off? Selfishness. What sound or noise do you love? Guitar. A Gibson? <laughs> uh, generally, yeah. <laughs> what sound or noise do you hate? Breaks. What is your favorite curse word, Kiefer? It's simple. F it's the big favorite. <laughs> what profession other than yours would you like to attempt? Professional ski instructor. What profession would you absolutely not like to try? I would not want to be my accountant. <laughs> <laughs> if heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say when you arrive at the pearly gates? <laughs> Why do you look so scared? Don't worry, come on in. <laughs> come on in, here you students. Hi, um, my name is Michelle and I'm a second year actress. You spoke about your rigorous schedule for 24. Mm -hmm. How do you keep fresh? How do you keep focused? It's going to sound funny and I don't mean it to be and it's not a trite answer. Fear. I love my job and I don't want to lose it. And, and people are relying on me in this situation too. And I think the fear of failing at it. Uh, fear is a huge motivator for me. You know, one of the interesting things about the way we shoot our season, we don't get picked up till the f it's over. So we approach the first, few, certainly the first season, like this was it. Um, and so we threw everything into it. And it set a standard for us. And, and what can really make or break any kind of show is a crew. And our crew you can't look at those faces that you look at every day, every year, and just start quitting on them. They're there the same amount of hours, in many cases more, uh, than you are. Uh, that, and again, uh, it's a fantastic opportunity. I've been doing this long enough not to take it for granted, and so fear will push you through. My question relates to the way in which you normally approach a role. What's normally an in for you? Um, I have tried to make everything I do in my life as simple as possible. I will take a script and once I know what part I'm playing in it, I will take a look at that character and I'll reread it from the beginning to the end. And let's just say it's a movie so that there's an ending. Like grade seven literature, grade six English lit. You have your conflict. You deal with your conflict. You have your climax and your descent. And I break a character down exactly the same. What is the conflict? How do they deal with or resolve their conflict? And where do they have to get to at the ending? In that arc, I can find one thing that is consistent behaviorally in that very beginning, in that climax, and in that end. And that becomes, to me, the trunk. And let's say it's a tree. So the character now has a trunk, and that's the one thing that in every scene is going to be there. It'll be the one consistent thing. Everything else around it uh, become branches. Every other little nuance or every other little thing uh, become that, and then leaves, and everything else can fill in. But the one consistent thing is that, and as long as that is straight and true, everything else will follow naturally, and it is just common sense for me. Hi, my name Hi. is Megan Majdowski. I'm a first-year actor. My friends and I are really big fans of 24, Thank and you. Um, I'm always so impressed about how you're able to keep the honesty of the character throughout the entire season. I was just wondering if you could enlighten us a little bit about the challenges you face, having to keep a character 
uh, take it from you know one hour to the next mm -hmm. hour within weeks at a time. The one thing that's fantastic about 24 specifically with regards to a character and actually is that the time element, as difficult as that has been for the writers to work within, it's fantastic for me because once, and, and all of the other actors, once the day starts and shit has hit the fan, we go into a high gear and stay there straight through till the end. I come in here, I say, hi, good evening, and could I have a glass of water? And Jack Bauer comes in here and says, hi, good evening, could I get a glass of water? And <laughs> as long as you know, you're always going to be at this horrible space like this, and moving at a thousand miles an hour, then, you know, and then you figure out how to work in all the other elements. Okay, I really, thank you so much for having me. I'm a huge fan of your school and your show. I really, really appreciate it. Thank Cheers. you. Thank you. I wish you all the best of luck. Take care. Cheers, guys.